Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers for Web Tutorials. In this session, we are going to do the static structure analysis of a leaf spring. We will start by double clicking on static structural. I'll first go to engineering data. The material that we are going to use for the analysis is structural steel itself. Generally, high quality seals are used in leaf springs so that its load bearing capacity increases. So, we are not changing the material, it is a default material of ISIS structural steel. Next, I'll go to geometry and I'll insert the geometry of leaf spring. I'll give you the link of this geometry for analysis purpose. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. First, I'll go to mesh option, sizing, I'll change it to fine and update. You can also give the element size if you want, say it is 0.01 mm and you can run the analysis of meshing and you can update the mesh, you will get a good fine mesh. This is a tetrahedron type of mesh that we have obtained. Now I'll give the boundary conditions. For that I'll go to static structural and right click and insert fix support. It is in this portion that I'm going to apply the fix support. You can press the control button and select the surfaces, apply. Again I'll go to static structural and insert force. At the bottom face and apply. I'll change define by from vector to component. Along the y axis, I'll apply a load of 700 Newton. You can see it is vertical upwards. So these are the two boundary conditions. Now I'll go to solution, right click and insert deformation total. Also, I want to see the deformation direction that is along the y-axis. Next, I'll insert strain equivalent. Then I'll insert stress equivalent. Also, I want to see the maximum principal stress and the maximum shear stress. Also, I'll insert energy strain and I'll insert fatigue tool. Now here I will choose mean stress theory as Goodman theory. I will right click here and insert life. Also I will insert damage and the safety factor. Next I will go to solution and solve. First, we will see the total deformation. You can see the maximum value is 0.012 mm and the minimum is 0 at the fixed ends. You can animate and check the result. Next is the directional deformation along the y axis. Maximum value is 0.0127 mm. And the minimum value is minus 0.003279. It is in this zone that you can see that is the blue color. Next is the strain that is obtained. The value is 3.33, you know, 10 to minus 5. This is the maximum value, and the minimum value is 1.98 into 10 to minus 7. So you can just animate and check this result as well. Next, we'll see the equivalent stress over the body. The maximum value is 6.638 megapascal. You can check where it is max and where it is minimum. So you can see here, it's maximum and minimum in these zones. You can again click on max min so that you don't have to see that option. Minimum value is 0 0.0164 megapascal. You can animate and see.
Next comes the maximum principal stress that is 3.287 megapascal maximum value and minimum is minus 0 0.41765. So these are the principal stresses over the body. Next is the maximum shear stress. The value is 3.358 megapascal. Minimum is 0 0.0093. Then comes the strain energy. The unit is millijoules and it is 0 0.01417. So suppose if I change this units to meter, you can see the value is now in joules. 1.417 it tends to minus 5 joules. This is the maximum value. Minimum is 2.3997 it tends to minus 10. So I'll change the units back to millimeter. It is in millijoule, but you can also get the value in joules. Next, we'll talk about the fatigue tool. Here we'll see the life. As for the Goodman theory, the life is 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles. It is given here and here as well. The damage factor shows as to what is the design life. It is 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles. And you are finding a thousand cycle less than the design value. So that shows your damage and then comes your safety factor. You can see your entire body is completely safe under this load. You can also have a little more load applied on this body. It can sustain a little higher load as well. But I have given 700 Newton and I can see that the body is completely safe. You can see here it is. You can see here the minimum value is 12.985 over this body and the maximum is 15 that you can see. So that's how you analyze a leaf spring and interpret the results. Mm -hmm. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.